What is Pybox? Pybox is a custom build for running on ARM64, for running on a Raspberry Pi 4 of the hypervisor Proxmox. Proxmox is my favorite hypervisor right next to XCPNG, and you might find a few tutorials on my blog about many usages you can do with the tool. But for this video, I want to showcase how I've been running it for one and a half year, a Pimox on a Raspberry Pi 4, 4 gigs of RAM with one SSD, uh, half terabyte on the USB 3. The Achilles heel of Raspberry Pis that are always on is always the micro SD. They fail over time. Nothing you can do about it. Even a high endurance one will last a bit longer, but it's not a bulletproof uh, piece of hardware. SSDs are not meant to be writing frequently. And no matter what you do on a Linux system, there are logs and other things that are always happening in the background and files are always being written to disk. SSDs and microSDs have word leveling algorithms, but microSDs are much less sophisticated. And because they have less CPU power for running these algorithms, they are much more simplified and less effective. One year after releasing to market the Raspberry Pi 4, there was one update to the firmware that allowed it to boot from the USB. Voila, problem solved. Here I have my SSD, 500 gigs, and one micro SD for backups of the containers. This is the summary of the hypervisor. I want to mention that, of course, it does not, it is not capable of doing everything Proxmox does. For example, it cannot run a virtual machine, but it can run containers, LXCs. So don't waste your time trying to run VMs. Containers is the way to go. Uh, but many features are fully functional. For example, you could come and get any of your containers, schedule backups, and they will be stored in the storage that you select. In my case, I do backups into the micro SDs, and I also do upload backups to S3 buckets in AWS as my offsite copy. If you don't know what is one LXE, um, and it's disappointed because Pimox can't run a VM. The fast explanation is that LXC is a Linux container. It is a type of a system container compared with the other types of containers that you might be familiar with, like Docker, which is application container. Let me show something. I have a Kali Linux desktop. I will go to the console. Have you started? This is the time it took to load. If you're familiar with Kali, you probably recognize this prompt. I will connect to this using RDP. I will use this feature of Remina to stretch the desktop to the size of the window. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Works as a virtual machine, even though it is not. Okay, 
and then you can see that it will detach here. So you finally got PyMox installed on your Raspberry Pi, and you come here and see that you can download templates, and then the list of templates you receive will not look anything like this because all the containers that comes with Proxmox, they are x86. They work in Intel AMD processors, not in ARM processors. So the way I got to have all of this here is explained in this blog post. Feel free to go there. It says everything you need to know to install your system and everything even some tricks and lesson learns and look for guest systems and you will find a link and there in the link you will look for the root file system of the container you want to deploy for example it brings you to images directly and let's see you want to download Kali ARM64 is the one that you want and this is what you need copy the address paste and give here the name Kali whatever year or whatever it is that's how you download it manual and it is coming from the official Linux container repository and these builds they happen every so often I think more than once a day sometimes some of them every so many days almost three days I don't know exactly the frequency but they keep building over and over and over and to make everyone's life easier what I contributed to the community is this i created one online repository for lxc templates where i put some other things in there so for example if you go in here this is a github github repository this is the command that is in here and do your own due diligence and check what this script does before simply trusting and running anyone's script on your machine but what you do is on the host of the Pymox you get a shell right here authenticate run this command what it's going to do is it will download the install this is the name it will be saved, will make executable, and we will execute with root permissions. Once more, do your homework and check what it does. And meanwhile, I will tell you what it does. It asks to replace the list of the images. If you agree, it will move as a backup and then we'll download the list of images that I have in the GitHub. That's in here. And we we'll also ask you if you want right away in a single command, just type in yes if you want to download them all or whatever you want to do. And these are the ones that comes from uh, the official Linux container org. And these are some custom that I built and the repository explains what they are, what they do. If you want to have, for example, that Kali desktop that I showcased earlier or this other project of mine that is a router that routes the traffic through Tor. The idea is it sits in between two networks and one network has internet access that's how it connects to Tor and the other network has not internet access so there is a segmented confined network that you can use for running code that you are not secure uh, of what its behavior or if you are concerned about revealing your location or any other privacy concern and this route through Tor gives you the privacy you are looking for. Yeah. There is a blog post that explains what it is and another repo for 
getting, acquiring, and running actually in pretty much any Debian-based distribution. But that container has it already installed and up and running. That's the objective. And then back to the blog post. More information about how to run Tor Gateway, how to configure the network interfaces, the network block that you have to use. So you can use this out of the box without too many tweaks. If you want to have uh, the HP server, what else? Also instructions for if you want to do your own custom containers and how you would install the desktop and make them run super easy with XRDP. Or if you want to use Cloudflare to tunnel you through Cloudflare, going through any NAT and not exposing your um, modems that go inside of your house or your office to the internet with port forwarding. Yeah, there are good stuff here. Feel free to check it out. So all of this story and now I will make it work. So this is the command. Again, if I go there to the list, you will see all of the x86, you see all of these things here, they will disappear, all these turkeys, they don't work in Pymox. So I will get the shell on the host. I will run that command. It's asking to replace or update the list of containers. Then it asks to download all of those. Just hit Y and enter, but I won't, I don't want to wait. And then those custom ones, I will say yes, so I can demo. Let me duplicate this Why it downloads. What I will do is I will go here. Images will start showing up here soon, but the list of templates is already different. These are the three ones that I just hit yes, accepting and downloading them. These ones would be downloaded if I had approved the ones. The second question. Yeah, at some point it will come. It takes a while to download. So it has just finished. If I come here, actually, if I try to refresh come here, it doesn't show because I was in the wrong one. It's here. Container templates in your local file system. This is where it downloads, and this list is the same list from there. So I could come. Do I have Fedora? Yes, I do. But I can show how it looks like. No need to download because we already have it. But that's how it works.